I'm here at Indimation, which is the biggest Belgian fair for industrial automatization. This year, and also here at this fair, digital has become clearly a hot topic. Um, the industry is choosing more and more paths of digital transformation. These new technologies, they open up new opportunities, but they also create new threats. So, industrial security has become highly important. Let's have a look at how we at Siemens can help you protect your plant. Our concept is defense in depth. It basically means that your plant is only secure if it has protection in all three of its layers. What you see here are two identical um, automation systems. One is protected according to our defense in depth concept, the other one is not protected. If I start with my first layer, the physical layer of protection, you see that the PLC here on the right is locked, while the one on the left is not locked. If I go to my second layer, this is my network security, I can here switch on a hacker who is trying to attack your network coming from the internet. If I switch my hacker on here, you will see normally the PLCs are communicating with each other so that the lights run synchronously. But this hacker will make them stop. You see the lights go off. If I now switch on my solution, my firewall, you will see that communication is restored. This is an example of your network security. And then we come to our last layer. This is your system integrity. In our second layer, we have already protected our system against external threats coming for example from the internet, but now we are talking about internal threats. What you see here is an HMI that can be used for example by an operator to set a desired pressure. For example here, an operator could say I want the pressure in my plant to be around 70 hectopascal. On both machines we have now the same pressure. I now switch a hacker on. This hacker is pretending to be the operator and the hacker is setting a higher pressure than the operator wants. Now here you see nothing because the HMI is being hacked. The operator doesn't know that it's hacked. But if you look at the other HMI, here you see the actual pressure and you see that your machine is being hacked. Okay, now why do you see that on machine 1 the hacker succeeds and on machine 2 he doesn't succeed? That's because on machine 2 we use a secure communication protocol like OPC UA, while on machine 1 we are using an insecure protocol like for example OPC DA. So this was a very simple example of how you can apply protection according to the defense in depth concept. We in Siemens have a wide portfolio where we can help you with protection in every single one of these three layers. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.